Hey, what's going on guys? Game with Gap and Gravy here on a beautiful morning in St. Croix Lake in Michigan. Uh, I'm going to be going after one of the best farms in Fishing Planet, which is the Northern Pike Farm. Uh, I just got the new line glider reel in the carp, the Mighty Carp Pack DLC, uh, just because I wanted to try out the new line glider reels, they're supposed to be feeder reels, you just reel in, disengages rear drag, and sets the hook automatically for you. So we're going to be testing that out as well. This could be the next step in this sort of um, pike farm here in Michigan. So just running around the lake right now, coming to the spot. It really works everywhere. I mean, I've gone over here, put it right there, out across there, or just over on that side. I've thrown it right by the lily pads and got some stuff. Uh, just, just as frequent as over here, actually, but it's all a matter of preference. Wrong one. So what we're doing is going, the, going to the most known spot just just across these lily pads right here I'm gonna test to see if all I need to do is just simply reel in to set the hook we're gonna try this it doesn't take too long for these pike to bite maybe we'll get a fighter on there so instead of moving it to the side and Getting a perfect hook set, this should be fairly easy. Watch, it doesn't look like it's being spooked up right now. We'll start moving erratically and then come to a complete stop. Oh, there it is. Reeling in. Pulling up. And it is that easy with these line glider reels. First pike is an 8 pound northern. Nice. So let's try that one more time. And then I'll switch over to my Aspira Double Punch 5500 which does have rear drag but it does not have the feeder reel um, kind of setup on it so it's just a standard spinning reel by that means standard hook setting procedures The line has gotten snagged, so we're going to have to reel in and recast. There we go. Yeah, just trying on one speed right now. Maybe faster speed works better, but yeah, let's try it on two this time. I was just coming in slowly, and then when the tension got up, I just pulled it up and Almost no over to the side required. So it's moving erratically. I always tell it will move erratically from side to side, then it will stop. And then about two seconds later, boom, your bobber gets hit, or the bait gets hit, your bobber goes wild, and you set the hook and you got yourself a fish. This kind of fishing is fun. I really enjoy this pike fishing right here. You will get 101 snags though, considering it's right by some lily pads. But that's okay. Sometimes you just go a bit further than the lily pads and you'll be fine. Yeah, typically from 40 to 50 feet out there and you're fine.
I have not caught a muskie yet. Uh, I've caught a blue catfish out of here. I've caught a 10 pound walleye before. Uh, I've caught a 41 pound unique pike out of here. But never once did I catch a muskie. And I've been told that they hang out on the other side. Like if you're going pike fishing, they'd be on the other side. I've tried before. I've cast some poppers, crankbaits, spoons of kinds, and haven't really got anything much. Just standard pike and maybe some bass. Occasionally you might even get salmon through here. Notch that down to two speed and... There's one. Another trophy. As long as you use six hot hook, shiners, and strong enough poundage um, gear and line and stuff like that, you can catch these pike all day long up to the uniques they will be biting basically all day long today's a cloudy day and the peak is on right now so I always try and get in some hours before the peak hits try and get some hours after the peak hits and then you have nighttime fishing but pike don't really bite at night, or so I've seen. I mean, maybe other people have gotten pike to bite at night. But they seem to remain dormant during the night, and I keep casting into snags. This is one bad thing about this place, is there are just millions of snags everywhere. Your bob will even drift into snags, and it's just, it's very snag heaven. As you can see, it's got to get out a little bit further than it there. So anyway, guys, like I was saying, this spot is great. Your problems will basically evaporate after this, your money problems. So basically when you reach level 30, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, level 30. You just want to be fishing St. Croix as much as you can. Just raking in the bucks with these northern pike. Because they will pay a lot in experience and money. Each one you catch is another step towards your next goal. Alright guys, so that will bring this episode to an end. Just want to quickly show you my setup I was using, the MCT MC carp, album foot 2 inches, carp axle, um, I was also using mono point zero one eight shiners, 6 out hook, and a pear shaped float. And after just 2 in-game hours, I have caught $33,000 worth of northern pike right here just from that one spot and I've only gone halfway through my day I could catch way more if I wanted to and that's just how amazing this one spot is I even caught a 35 pound unique right here 35 pound unique it was a really nice one just from that spot just have powerful enough gear and catch away at these northern pike you will make a lot of money and you will just your money problems will be gone at that point I leveled up to level 34 as well so that was nice and these northern pike are just a great farm in awe so thank you guys for watching please like comment subscribe tell me what you want to see next and I'll catch you next time Captain Gravy signing out <laughs>